We are fast approaching the one day of the year when people officially honor military veterans. You know, veteran problems, they are issues for 365 days of the year, however. Yeah, many of our men and women in, who wore the uniform return from service so isolated, detached from society, they are not aware of all the programs available to help them. And it's why Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews checked out the VA's town hall today. It's local in Memphis. When veterans return home, they often have an awful lot of questions. And those questions concern the benefits they have. And sometimes they don't even know the benefits they have. And the Veterans Administration holds what they call town halls just for this reason. Some vets don't know what things they're eligible for. Sometimes they've had a hard time getting to the service they need and so we help to facilitate that and we have people we bring all my customer service people here. The red tape involved with getting VA help is legendary. For example, a parking garage is about to open at the hospital and they've been working on it for close to 10 years. But for vets, they just want better services. For me, I just hope to see more improvement at the facilities. Mm -hmm. You know, and pretty much that's the only thing I see. He might be surprised to know that the head man at the hospital wants to hear those comments, wants to hear the criticism. He says it's often the only way to try and improve conditions at what has been ranked as one of the worst VA hospitals in the country. Me being a veteran myself of 30 years in the United States Army, I feel like I got a little bit of the pulse of the veteran here. And I think they, their voice is, is very well heard, especially, you know, I, I get a lot of them that actually personally seek me out when I'm in the hospital because um, I walk around, I go out and see people and they don't feel shy at all. The difficulty in returning home is still one of the toughest issues a veteran has to deal with, but at least people aren't ashamed to admit it, Dunning says. On the other hand, they need to know about all the things they're eligible for, even the obvious things. I don't think even all veterans are aware that they could be eligible to be buried in a veteran's cemetery, so we want to get that word out. The VA does this all the time, and they say they will continue to do it to try to help when possible. It's that important to them. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News. Mike, thank you for that. You know, some